This Let's Play features an adult using adult language. You have been warned. It was dirty money. There was a key on the table. Old school. I'm actually doing a lot better than I was expecting. It's been a minute since I played Max Payne. I, uh, I used to get my ass kicked by this game. Maybe I've finally evolved into a higher species. Alright, we gotta go to the bar. Let's do this. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. As real men should. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Modest, too. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. So there's just a dude in here, watching him get his dick sucked. What the fuck? Sit no, serious, what the fuck? Down, boy. Oh, hey, we got the Ingram. I need pills. The antique switchboard was still in use. There we go. Oh, yeah, cool shit. Uh, the see through health it acts like a little bit of a buffer if you're taking a shitload of damage uh, it is possible to have uh, see-through health as well as actual damage and the see-through health will prevent you from getting killed it's kind of handy there was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area the kind that made phone tapping child's play it wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, Cornelius, this Max Payne it came stolen capitals. He killed. Uh... Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. I just love that he's stuck saying freaking because they had to get the game past the censors. Only reason. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Fucking Hayes office. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you know what? Yeah, I, it, it's not costing me money. It's costing Max money. Let's give it a try. Oh, 
Ah, rigged piece of shit. Alright, do we have bathroom pills? No. showed that inanimate object who's boss. Yo. These guys are fucking losers. That's a nice touch. You broke the only one that probably worked right. You just had shitty luck. Oh. Oh, I remember this spot. I hate this spot. God, I love the soundtrack to this game. All right, so we gotta go that way. We'll get there. We're a little singed, but we're not bad. And we have an exit. the gun do the talking turn around walk away below town that would have been the smart thing to do guess i wasn't that smart lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze a liquor store a pawn shop a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks the list went on the how and why of it was a mystery to me but they knew i was a cop they knew i was coming and they were going to get real trigger happy about it it should go well I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Oh no! So much for not a care in the world. Shit. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be taken inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. Okay. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. All right, let's cause some fucking problems. Uh, that's hilariously, hilariously inaccurate 
to uh, New York specifically. Just the original video store. Excellent videos. Thousands of Triple X videos. Yeah, there's no fucking way that would ex exist. Let's see, this came out in the 90s? No, this came out in the early 2000s. So the, the game is set probably during the 90s. Came out in the early 2000s. Yeah, there's no way in hell a triple x video store and a pawnbroker that sells guns existed in rudy giuliani's new york city but it makes for great world building like the game area looks cool the headlines were a depressing read the headlines were screaming bloody murder the storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens it was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. And the easiest way to tell whether or not someone is a degenerate is how hard they rail against porn. Like someone just saying, eh, it's not my thing. All right, that's a normal person. Someone actively going out of their way to ban it from major cities and travel areas, shouting to anyone who will listen about the degeneracy of pornography. You know that motherfucker's got some thigh highs in their closet. All right, so we've got, there's some bad guys in there. I'm not up for shooting them in that little box because there's grenades and I don't remember if this game was like Redneck fucking Rampage and if you shoot the ammo it will explode so instead I'm gonna be a dick ha <laughs> little wasteful sure felt good though Ammo. Need pills. Oh, this is a trap. Oh, it's a trap. Yeah, I'm not interacting with you assholes. Building was rigged with explosives. Nope. Uh oh. I'm gonna appreciate the soundtrack for a second. hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooten. You must hurry. The police are on their way. 
tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of the manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Nah. Whoa! Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. This is why we quick save, boys. All right, there were no goodies there. Really? That's a little annoying that they wouldn't give us goodies. The whole building was rigged with explosives. Save. That's not good. Yeah, I think they're more than a little upset at the building. Someone had left a letter on the counter. There was a key on the shelf. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. Oh. Hey officers, nope, we're good. Fuck! That was on me, I'm an idiot. Can we get any amount of pills? Someone had left a little key on the shelf. Hold it right there. Max Payne, this is your final warning. Surrender on. Hey, yeah. Ah! Fucker. I'll get to you. I need me some sketchy bathroom pills. Ah! 
No. Sir. Thank you. Hawk. Yeah. Yeah, they're blowing shit up. Oh, fuck. Platforming. This game is not good with its platforming. Whoa! I guess I'm not going that way. No. There we go, getting our pills back. Really, the main reason I'm not using the shotgun is they, the game is throwing consistently so many dudes at us that by the time we're racking the slide, we're getting shot. Which makes it difficult to justify the shotgun. Fear that gives men wings. The bombs that destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Yeah, that's doable. It's never been this cold. Never mm. ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my butt off. I mean, there's a building right the fuck there. You could just hang out inside. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks, mouse. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. Yeah, that's about right. Who the fuck orders a pizza at this time of night, Max? Come on, you could have done better than that. You are not nearly as charming as Tobey Maguire. You can't just hop into a place and with gravel in your voice go, Pizza time. That's not how that works. Oh, it's dark in here. Oh, it's fucking dark in here. Fuck. Hey. Oh. Okay. I feel like this game vibrates between hilariously unfair and knock off John Woo. No, don't shoot. I, I... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Give me, give me in there. Okay, okay, okay. That was a weird glitch. Come on, Max. Cooperate. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, you get a non-standard game over if you kill this guy. I can actually show you. Hold on. Oh, save. The stress was getting to me. I'd made a mistake I'd never be able to fix. Yep. This way. Is he still following me? There we go, okay. Got one 
magazine of that? Let's go with the Berettas in here. It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Wu. Come on. Okay, John Wu. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! Yes! <laughs> that went well oh it was dirty money they're printing money money ah laundry <laughs> luigi's laundry make your clothes shine they're washing the money they're not just okay that's fucking brilliant oh that's hilarious all right so <laughs> Something that uh, counterfeiters usually run into as an issue when it comes to faking currency is precisely this. Money is very specific. No. Money is very specific in how it behaves and how it feels. So they're literally washing the money. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm probably getting that horribly wrong. Yeah. If this was a looking glass game, I'd be able to drink that. Thank you. Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert a citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Bravura has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. So that's where we got to go. Not a lot of Ingram ammo, but we can fix that. Alright, that's where we gotta go. Okay. This week on Address Unknown. Oh no. <laughs> Game's a bit touchy. Suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo 
speaks again. I have no idea what that means. And that's when I always wake up to my old screen in that brightly lit white hospital room strapped to my bed. Freaky. Motherfucking Yeah, this game could have used an armor system. It'd be nice to be able to like steal flak vests. Especially once we fight once we start fighting assholes with AM cars. Hold on, I need to test something. If I jump. Okay, hold on. So we can break the laws of physics a little. A lot. Okay. Right. Bombs are going off. My bad. Let's go this way. Red, blue, or green? It's always red or blue in the movies. So, green? No, not the green. Ooh. Oh, they're very dead. Yeah, that works. Come on. You can make it. You can reach me. Apparently not. I supposed to go? Oh. What the hell are you standing around here for? They're bombing us. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. What are you doing? This is war. Freaking war. War. Freaking war. <laughs> oh, Vinny. Vinny. Can't imagine you without a sense of. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed. I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peace like it meant something. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh god, you shot me. Ah. You're dead, Pain. And what the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him. Kill him. With pleasure, boss. Cognitive bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. Accurate. That works. A crumpled letter lay on Gagnini's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnini had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. There might have been a lot of issues that wouldn't have happened. Ah, there's a tickle in my nose. Ugh. Might have been a lot of issues that wouldn't have happened if he had, in fact, sold out his idiot boss. Vinny Gogniti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. 
Oh, hey, I came through here. Can't go through there, though. No reason to explore. Got Needy hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Yeah, that seems dumb. That seems really dumb, Max. <sighs> This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagniti made his move. So how did you spot that, Max? Also, minor tidbit, a bit of a nitpick. Uh, the game takes place in the Bronx. Supposedly. Or at least this section of the game takes place in the Bronx, supposedly. Fucking where? I know, I know, I'm nitpicking a video game from like the early 2000s. It's kind of chicken shit. It is a nitpick, though. I probably could have done that a lot better. Oh! <laughs> Lucky me! Stay down, please. Not gonna happen. It's pain! He's coming down the stairs! Shoot the bastard! Okay, boss, you got it. No problem. Granata! That was a fuck up and a half. Take two. Bullshit. Oh, there's no way of skipping that. Oh, there's no way of skipping this. Okay, boss, you got no problem.
that went better. I think they're a fan. Stop that shit. Get it right this time. Game. God, I love how jank the baseball bat is. Quick save. That's a great problem to have. Berettas. Oh, hey, there he is. Glad I made that jump. Hell yeah. Fucking who? No. Get out of this crime scene. No. Where the shit am I supposed to go? Elevator button. Yeah. That. I'm not a smart man. I'm just an effective one. You're not wasting the bullet time. You had an ingy, more ingy ammo. Oh, this area sucks.
<sighs> Glad I remembered you, you little shit. Go grab that spare Ingram ammo. There we go. I don't think it's like. Oh, pfft, that was a waste. I don't think it's an Ingram. I think it's a. You know, Desert Eagle, dual Berettos. I think it's like a micro Uzi or something. Then again, this game was cool about the names being accurate, so it might actually be an Ingram. Fuck, it has the jackhammer in it. <laughs> America's Avenger for the payback time. Yeah, there's no fucking way in hell this billboard would be in Rudy Giuliani's New York City in the early 2000s. <laughs> Great artwork, though. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Let's land on these boxes. That yeah, worked. So one of them evaporated, apparently. Or he's hiding. Ooh, pills. More cases of V. Yeah, fuck you. Or he's around the corner. Okay, I took care of that. Okay. Oh. Always check for goodies. All right, we should be good. Should be. Saving it. Oh. Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of... Oh. Max Damn Payne it. Max has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. My bad. Yeah, that works. Does that do it for you, America?
Hey, buddy. I love the back-to-back -back negligent discharges. Fucking NDs into the, uh, into the ground and then into the trash can. Oh, Vinny. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Touch embarrassing. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. I appreciate that he consistently discharges. Really? Really? I hear him. He's upset. Is there ammo or health? No. Huh. Right, let's finish this like an adult. Gagnetti ran out of steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shakedown time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me to home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. I think that's a good place. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of a nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. This is a perfect place to stop. Oh, uh, yeah. We're gonna save. We're going to... There we go. Awesome. I hope you guys had fun with Let's Play Max Payne. I'm having fun. I'm going through freaking memory lane with this game. I'm getting my ass kicked here and there, but it's like blood. You suffer through it, and eventually you beat the game. <laughs> 
So I hope you guys had fun with Let's Play Max Payne so far. Unfortunately, though, we're out of time for today. So until we meet again, stay classy, Internet.